Anonymous here. Uh, one of our knights, Rick Tang, is joining me from Orbital Sabers in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, we are here to demonstrate uh, one of the things that we go into a lot. And as we are opening up the forums and getting more and more people in here, more and more people uh, want want to do stuff with us. We uh, get lots of questions on the gear. We did a head I did a head protection video just just a while ago. We have stuff on gloves and all of that, so check out the channel there. Um, what comes up a lot, especially now with places like Ludo Sport, who have very, very minimal gear requirements, and a lot of people that are coming coming in from a non-martial perspective, they start playing with these things, and it's, you know, it's, it, it seems so, so innocuous, you just have a blade, and it lights up, and it's, it's very much like a toy. And so they don't really feel the need for it. And, uh, Coming from a martial arts background, we have the exact opposite kind of idea in that if we know that the other person can't hit us, we also know that that is going to it, uh, affect what we choose to do. So if we're not using any gear, let's, we'll, we'll use gloves here, but if we're not using helmets, right, turn it on there, okay, we'll, we'll be going through here and we'll, we may go here, but notice, we're not in range with each other, okay? We're staying away from each other because we don't have eye protection, we don't have head protection. That's, it makes us hand shot. Now, the argument is, is that you wouldn't have that in a real fight either, but then you wouldn't have a lightsaber in a real fight, so I think it evens out. Um, now, the other thing about it does is if you get used to fighting without headgear, Sure, you can do all of this stuff, and it look, you know, oh, I gotcha, yeah, we, right? We can do all that kind of thing. However, if we get used to that, all of a sudden, now we're taking hits that we know we would never go for. Why? Because our head's completely exposed. But we'll go for them because we know they're not going to hit us there. Why? They're our friend. They're our training partner, right? They don't actually want to hit us, hopefully. Right? If, if they do, we probably find new training partners. But um, the point is, is that now I'm not targeting his head. He's not targeting mine. Okay, and that's not really a very realistic scenario. Right? It also doesn't facilitate a whole lot of variety. We can stay at range and jump around and do all that kind of stuff. But that's essentially like a game of tag. We're coming from more, you know, sword play. Kind of, kind of ideas. So if we put the helmets on, you will see now. Right. Good. Good. Right. I'm not going for these. Why? Because if I do, that's all that's going to happen, right? He's not going for a large baseball swing to this side because I'm just going to step over to the other side and hit his head. But we can't do that if we're not wearing helmets, right? So the head is obviously the number one target for anything, right? So taking the head out of the equation really changes the game, right? When you're in the body, you want to be able to come up over the top, to hit them, to get them there. If you don't have helmets on, you have to stay up here and you just kind of push back and forth, which is fine for a certain level, but you're probably not going to get a lot out of it. Uh, another thing that happens when the other person isn't wearing gear is it changes the dynamics of your swings, okay? Because like I said, I'm he's, uh, not wearing gear, so I'm going to make sure that I can stop, right? Which means I'm not going to fully commit to a strike. If we get our helmets on here, and I go for his head, I don't have to worry about if I hit him or not, right? He's, he's got a helmet. Even if, even if he misses, if I fake, he swings, whoosh, and I get him right on the head, it's fine, right? Same thing with him, right? He gets me, that's fine, right? We can sit here, in fact, and just 
Hit each other on the head. <laughs> and it's fine, right? But just because you don't necessarily want to do that, right? Because, oh, well, why would your friend want to hit you in the face? Not your face, your head. And besides, we're not necessarily going to hit that hard. We're going to be going through here. Good. Good. See? I'm not necess necessarily doing strikes. Whoa! Right? Most of my strikes are coming from opportunities that happen right here. And I'm coming in here with just little strikes here. Okay? And we get in this way. Now, it also requires you to not just stand there, right? Because our head is a target. We have to constantly keep moving to keep our head out of the way, right? Not having that there, if we demonstrate again, right? Notice the difference. Uh, see? He, he took the strike, it went to the head, but he was out of range because he knows I don't have a helmet on. Right? Now we can argue, oh, was that a headshot or not? Right? If we're wearing masks, we know. Puck! Hit you on the head. Awesome. Okay? So, <clears throat> besides the injuries, besides all of that, your technique is going to be improved by being able to legitimately perform your techniques without holding back. That is the number one uh, uh, message here. Okay, The more gear you're wearing, the more freedom you have. Now, of course, just because you're wearing gear, just don't go off and start hitting each other. The gear is there to protect you. You don't want to get hit. Okay. You don't need pain to tell you not to get hit. You can go, dang, I just got hit, <laughs> right? I think everybody feels the, the, the pain of loss when they lose a point in any game. You don't actually have to do damage. All right, okay. So, another little uh, uh, spiel for gear. We're gonna be doing more of these um, in the future. Uh, other than that, Stay safe, have a good day. Thanks to Rick for helping me out here. Happy savoring.